Describe a piece of art that you like. You should say what the work of art is, when you first saw it, what you know about it, and explain why you like it. This is Language Help, and this is a discussion of a cue card. An art's cue card could ask you to describe a person, or describe a time or occasion, or describe a place, or an object, or describe an object, or describe an activity. Today's IELTS cue card is about an object. The question is to describe a piece of art that you like. For the first cue, what the work of art is, you need to use the present tense and think of a name of a work of art that you like. Remember the author or the painter and remember maybe the dates or any relevant detail. For the second cue, when you first saw it, that's an action that happened in the past, so you need to use the past tense to talk about this. And in this case, you're describing an occasion or circumstances. For the third cue, we're going to use the present tense, and we're going to list information about what we know about this work. The final cue in any IELTS cue card is about feelings. So, how does this work of art make you feel? Do you like it? Does it make you feel sad or happy? maybe melancholic, does it make you think, and so on. Now let's get to the example answer. I'm a really big fan of the Mona Lisa. It's a drawing by Leonardo da Vinci, the Italian artist. It's been around for more than 500 years, and I would love to see it someday. I haven't had the chance to see it yet because it's in the Louvre Museum in France, and I've never been to France. But it's everywhere, on TV, the internet, and even in school textbooks. I first heard about it from my father. He used to call it the Giocanda, which is the Italian name for it. It took me a while to associate the two names as I grew older and came to know that it is part of world heritage. The contemplating pose of the character in the drawing captivates me. Similarly, the controversy on the internet whether the lady is joyful or sad draws me in and makes me want to see it in person. But more importantly, I think you can say that my attachment to the drawing symbolizes my attachment to memories with my father in some way. To be a big fan of something is to admire or to like or maybe support. I'm a big fan of world peace. If you happen to visit a country on a temporary basis, you can say, I have been to that country. Example, I've been to Malaysia and Australia. They are beautiful. Which means I visited Malaysia and Australia, and I'm back here now. It was just a visit. To associate, to associate, or to associate, is to link or find a relationship between two things. Scientists associated the spread of coronavirus with crowdedness. Heritage, heritage is the combination of features belonging to a culture, such as traditions, languages, buildings, that were created in the past and still have historical importance. For example, Oxford University is a vital part of England's heritage. To contemplate, contemplate. To contemplate is to spend time considering a possible future action, or to consider one particular thing for a long time in a serious and quiet way. Alex is contemplating going to graduate school, which means Alex is considering his options. To captivate, to captivate is to hold the attention of someone by being extremely interesting, exciting, pleasant, or attractive. The charm of the actress captivates movie audiences everywhere. Controversy. Controversy. A controversy is a lot of disagreement or argument about something, usually because it affects or is important to many people. Example, there was a big controversy surrounding the use of drugs in athletics. Or you can say, there was a big controversy over the use of drugs in athletics. This was our cue card for today. If you liked it, please subscribe, share, and like, and come back for more.